Hi, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to this week's Broadcast Tuesday. Remember, we now have our live broadcast every Tuesday at 10 a.m. PST or 1 o'clock if you are on the East Coast, and that is right here on Facebook. Today, I'm going to show you Calendly and go over some of the reasons you should be using this in your real estate business. Have you been looking for an easy to use scheduler which syncs automatically with your calendar? Are you sick of the back and forth calls and emails to schedule and confirm a meeting time? Well, then you will love Calendly. This system allows you to create your own appointment page where you can add your picture, a short description, and even your direct contact info if you'd like. I've created a demo account here and as you can see, I've added my picture and some information about myself. Now this section is all customizable. You can also create separate events. For example, I've seen agents who have one for a listing consultation, a buyer's consultation, lunch meetings, meet for coffee, and so on. But on my demo page, I have created a listing consultation buyer's consultation, property showing, and just a regular meeting. Now, when someone clicks on each of these links, it is going to ask them to select a day and a time for the meeting. So if I select Wednesday, November 1st, this is all of my availability for that day. Now I'll go ahead and select 930 and confirm. Now it's going to ask them to fill in all of the questions which I've created for this event. So I have the full name, email address, property address. Are you currently working with a real estate agent? That is something that I would like to know. When are you thinking about moving? And they can go ahead and add additional information in here as well. When they click on schedule event, this confirmation page will appear, and as you can see, it says a calendar invitation has been sent to your email. Now, the calendar invite has been sent to whoever uh, created the event, and it has also been added to my calendar. So, I use Google Calendar. If I go ahead and refresh my page here, you see that it has automatically synced with my Google Calendar. So Jane Doe has um, requested to meet with me for a listing consultation, and I have the answers to all of the questions on that page. Uh, I have the property address, so I can go into the listing consultation prepared. I know that she is not working with a real estate agent, and she is pretty motivated. She's looking to move ASAP. Now, this will also appear on her calendar, as I've mentioned, so if for any reason she needs to go ahead and cancel or reschedule, um, she can do so simply by clicking on those links and not have to worry about contacting you directly uh, because you will get the notification as well. So Calendly syncs uh, automatically with your calendar. It syncs with uh, Google Calendars, um, Office 365, so Outlook calendars, and also iCal if you are an Apple customer. Um, so they definitely have you covered there. Now, what we have gone over so far is what a customer will look at um, on your scheduling page. But let me go ahead and show you the back end of the system. This will be what you will see as the admin. So on your dashboard, if I refresh the page here, I see that Jane Doe has scheduled to meet with me on Wednesday, November 1st, and this will give you an overview of all of the upcoming events that you have. If you click on details, that is going to show you all of the questions um, which she has answered as well. Now that is your dashboard. If you would like to edit any of your events which you have created, you just need to click on event types. And I have all of mine listed here. So if for any reason I need to update the name or the description, maybe the duration of the meeting, I can just click on the settings and edit. 
So it is really easy to use. The system is extremely user friendly. Um, but let me go ahead and just quickly walk you through how to create a new event type in here. Click on new event. You have the option to select either a one on one or a group event. So this might be used for tours, webinars, classes, or workshops. Um, but let me walk you through a one on one. If you click on create, you will just need to go ahead and put in the event type here. So if I just type in meet for coffee, you can then put in the location. So um, if I would like to always meet at the Starbucks on Main Street, I can type that in here. Um, also, the Calendly syncs automatically with GoToMeeting, which is a great integration to have. So if you would like to set up this event type just for GoToMeetings, um, then you can set that up right here and it will automatically include a GoToMeeting link with their calendar invite. Um, if you would like it at a location, you have the option down below to display this location while they're booking or display the location only after they have confirmed the booking. Down below, just type in the description for what the event is, and then you have the option to select a different color for each separate event type. Now when I click on next, it's going to bring me to my availability. So I can select a duration for this meeting, um, 15, 30, 45, or 60 minutes. You can also do a custom uh, time as well. Now your calendar is going to show your availability um, to the customer for the next 60 days. Um, so just make sure that you do update your available hours in here. And you can do so simply by clicking on create new available hours. I have Monday through Friday from nine to five available. But if I'd like to update that, I just click on the day. I can add in a new interval, or I can just say I'm unavailable on that day. Maybe for some reason I am unavailable every Tuesday, I can just click I'm unavailable, apply to all Tuesdays here. And then once you click on next, you will be able to add your questions. So these are the things that you would like them to answer when they go ahead and schedule the appointment with you. The full name and email address are required. And maybe I would like to put in, what would you like to discuss? Because it is just meeting for coffee. Um, you can add additional questions in here just simply by clicking on this link as well. And then save and close. And it's that easy to set up your new event type. So now if I go back onto my main page, as you can see, Meet for Coffee has now appeared. So anyone who uses my custom link here at the top, um, you can use your name. Uh, this will be your specific URL. So you can add it to your email signatures. I would highly recommend doing that. You can also add it onto your website so that someone can just have access to your scheduler anytime. Um, they can schedule an appointment with you whenever you're available and not have to worry about getting you on the phone, going back and forth with emails or text messages. It really does take away the hassle of um, scheduling and confirming the, um, the time. So this is the Calendly app. They have a ton of features in here. There are uh, several integrations. I know I had mentioned GoToMeeting, but there's also a Salesforce, Zapier integration, um, and you can also set up automatic notifications. So uh, once someone schedules a meeting with you, you can set up an automatic notification to go out 24 hours before, uh, maybe an hour before. So that just takes away um, the hassle of you having to worry about confirming and reconfirming um, that event. So this is Calendly. 
The, um, they have a few different options to choose from. There is a free basic account, so you can go ahead and get started on here today for free. Um, that includes one event type, and then they also have a premium and a pro version. So uh, this is Calendly. I definitely think it would be great for, um, for getting organized with all of your appointments, never having to worry about over double booking or over scheduling yourself. And, um, and I hope you enjoyed today's presentation. So thank you everyone so much for joining me. We hope to see you next week. Remember our Tech Tuesdays are um, every Tuesday at 10 a.m. if you are on the West Coast, one o'clock if you're on the East Coast, and they are always live right here on Facebook. Thanks a lot, everyone. Have a great day.